what's going on everyone today we're going over the seasonal challenges for week three of season of the haunted challenge number one is sorrow bound three complete bound in sorrow week three which i have a guide for up already and defeat 75 scoring with precision final blows challenge number two is nightmare containment two complete tiers of the nightmare containment public event and the leviathan throughout the season i do have a guide for the public event on my channel challenge number three is binding one complete 10 tier three nightmare containment events and bind your vestiges of dread at the nightmare harvester as well as open five opulent chests using the opulent keys that sometimes drop from the event as well as other chests in the leviathan the nightmare harvester is located right behind the final chest that you open there are three opulent chests scattered within the pleasure gardens and the royal pools the opulent key you get opens a certain one which is listed when you hover over the key Challenge number four is loadout two. Defeat enemies with shotguns or fusion rifles, as well as defeat powerful nightmares. Nightmares commonly spawn throughout the Leviathan and are usually accompanied by a message in the bottom left. So as you're exploring around opening chests, you should have no problem finding these. Challenge number five is throne world activities. On the throne world, earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. Challenge number six is power broker. Reach power level 1560 by earning powerful rewards and prime engrams. The fastest way to do this is activities to give you powerful or pinnacle gear. Challenge number 7 is long range calibration. Get pulse rifle, bow, and trace rifle kills in the throne world. You get bonus progress in lost sectors. Challenge number 8 is primeval entourage. Defeat taken and gambit. Tougher combatants give you more progress. Challenge number 9 is scorched earth. Defeat guardians and team scorched. Charge detonations give you bonus progress. Normal attacks travel until you hit something. But by holding down your fire key, you can actually charge your detonation and let go of the key to explode it whenever you want. This will allow you to get kills easier, as well as the bonus progress for in-air detonations. And lastly, challenge number 10 is ultimate champion. Defeat champions at any nightfall strike on hero difficulty or higher. At higher difficulties, you get more progress. And that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, like a sub would be appreciated. Thanks for watching.